you have to you have to really bring it into perspective is what is going to keep people watching the video so we're making a video right now this is what we're doing so there's only three ways that you can actually bring value and keep someone watching uh, through the whole video the first one is to inspire I can inspire them to be better I can you know go through this inspirational movement and you know the emotion that comes with the video that's probably not going to happen too much in this video uh, the second one is to educate uh, to educate is a very powerful form if somebody wants to learn something and they're going to get knowledge you know if they're watching a video that's a great way to bring value and that's what this video is we'll have some inspiration um, and then the third one is to entertain um, so those are the only three values that I know of that you can actually do uh, in a video is to inspire educate and entertain and when you can actually bring all three of them together or even two of those components together you actually can have some magic and where people will watch an eight-hour video if you do it right you really can uh, just just case in point uh, for this um, we actually uh, put out a lot of different uh, videos you know whether it's you know sitcom type of you know sketch comedy or we'll do ads or we'll do how-to tutorials or we'll be promoting this event whatever it may be and what's really interesting is the data that we're able to collect and knowing beforehand that we need to bring value back to um, the viewer and we know that that's our number one goal outside of you know I know a lot of people says well my main goal is to get them to buy something well if you can't get them to the point where you do your call to action they're not gonna buy anything if you can't educate them say hey I need to check out more or I'm ready to buy then you actually lose that and so those are the three ways that you can actually do that um, and you, if, if someone would give it a little bit more thought uh, of how to actually do that before they actually start creating the video then you're gonna find your videos are actually gonna perform better you're gonna engage with the audience a lot better and you're gonna get more success than just kind of you know turn on the camera and just running with it yeah, I think we were talking a little bit prior to uh, this recording uh, about audience retention and um, creating that engagement with the audience ultimately. And I think that's that's your point there is you need to get them to the call to, act, to, call, the call to action at the very end. Otherwise, um, it's just going to drop off and they're not going to actually do anything. It, when yeah, you're pointless to that video. I mean, that, that's the whole thing is if you're putting all this time and effort and energy in creating a video, you're putting all this time, effort, and energy in promoting that video, and if you can't get them to the end, wow, or you can't get them to, you know, fulfill with its purpose, you know, you're wasting a lot of time, the the viewer's time, and also your time. All right, so we've. We've got these these three kind of pillars I suppose and we've got to either at least hit one or two if preferable um, with those videos that you've seen the most success are they hitting all three uh, no no the, like they'll either do one really really well um, with a, kind of a pepper of the other um, but yeah I mean like it, it it all comes back down to yes you can do it individually just to educate well, you've got to keep in mind, maybe that's the type that your audience wants is just straight education, no, no personality into it. They just want the information really quick. Those can perform really well and do exactly what it wants to do. So it really depends on what type of audience that you're actually going after and you know, what type of content would resonate with them to take action. Because what we want them to do is not only to um, watch the video, but at the end of the video, I want that viewer to take action, whether it's to share the video with someone that they're uh, friends with because they have the same, you know, the same type of interests and they found this is interesting enough or entertaining enough or inspiring enough that they want to share it. So my question to you guys that are watching this video right now, what, what videos did you share today? What videos did you share this week? And why did you actually share those videos? See, that's what you got to think about before you actually create content is why are you doing what you're doing and then how do you actually replicate it how do you actually get a video made so someone like you would actually share it so there's there's a lot of great opportunity there but no you do not have to be just you know uh, two of them to have a full success uh, there's a couple people I know um, that really want to educate and entertain and they do a horrible job at entertaining 
and they do a horrible job at educating. And they would do better if they would just pick one and kind of go, go that route, but they're trying to do something that they're not. And I think that's another thing too, is if you're not authentic in the video, if you're not, if the, if the video itself's not authentic, people are gonna see right through it and they're not gonna watch it. You know, they're like, oh, this is just junk. Just because it's not authentic. Now, it could be a parody or something like that. And yeah, it could be fun because it's more comical and it's more, uh, you know, there to entertain. It's great. So, 